Hey, welcome to Concord Orlando's Television. I am Bronner, and I'm here with a, a slew of wonderful individuals. And we'll start with my um, my steady, uh, my everyday, my <laughs> ring around my armor, my you're, you're trying really wind hard beneath to my wings. A nice way to say you're stuck with me. Yeah, and I'm here. <laughs> the dude that's taking place of my beautiful wife. That dude. My name is Nick. I'm his beautiful husband. Hi, Nick, my beautiful hubby. Work husband. Work husband. He has a work, work husband. husband. I do have a work husband. I think my wife will have things to say about that, but, you know, it's all good. <laughs> and we have this amazing couple that have um, actually agreed to, to compete against us. I don't know what they were thinking. They're, Neither do no, we. They are wonderful people. <laughs> wonderful but they people are. in the Vanguard community. Yay, let's hear it for Vanguard. All right, so why don't you introduce yourselves to us? Oh, well, hello, Miss Claus. I told you I was going to make it. How you doing? Great. Introduce right. yourselves. Introduce yourselves. We'll start with you, Ames. Okay. Um, I go by Ames. Um, my birth name's Angela, so I use Ames because there's so many Angelas in the world. Um, I, I don't know what else to say. I mean, I like it. That's why I go by Buttercup and not Amanda. <laughs> she, she is wonderful and a fantastic role player. I think. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Oh, that was very sweet. And, and I'm married to that one. The other way. Point the other way, I think. No, that was Who perfect. Knows? I see was him. <laughs> Hi, yeah, I'm Davis. I'm Davis. married to Ames, and uh, yeah, I'm glad to be here. All right. Well, welcome to both of you. You're in for a real treat. This is our fifth episode of Trivia, and this is our 55th show, I believe, uh, overall. Uh, we are That's in our fantastic. second season. Isn't it really? That's awesome, right? That is really um, great. But this is, um, with the exception of our... our um, LARPing episodes, our trivia episodes are the, are among the highest rated, but the LARPing episodes, of course, are way up here because that whole community just shows out and is really responsive and wonderful. <laughs> Look at me. I love it. LARPers <laughs> be doing incredible things. <laughs> That's right. Stay tuned to Con Carolina's 2023 for some LARPing magic. It's going to oh, happen. Yes. Hundred percent. You should totally come if you're at home right now and you're on the fence. Please come to Con yeah. Carolinas 2020. Go to go to concarolinas.org. Click on that weekend passes thing and you get, get your yourself your badges now. now. And, and they're cheaper now. now. Yes, the if sooner you, use, you get them, the cheaper they will be. Right. If you use the um, promo code Cyber, you will save some money. So do that. And um, without further ado, let's have um, Mrs. Kringle um, just kick it off for us. What are we doing? What are we doing here? So it is trivia night. And I, whoever Hold up, time out, time out, time out. Introduce the cat. This oh, is Bjorn. That's Bjorn. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got Sven and we've got Bjorn. And a very important cast member. I love it. And they <laughs> love to attack my chair when I'm on the internet. And we and we love cats. You know, whatever for whatever cats. reason, the the internet in our podcast were cat friendly. The dogs, and the cats, the any of them were animal friendly. Right. The pigs. You will you'll see them lying around. They're all. Uh, there are five of them. Yeah. So our daughter decided to adopt several cats during COVID, and then she left for college. So now, <laughs> I'm a crazy cat person. And she might be watching this stream. So good job. Yeah. Love you, Brianna. Love you. Yeah. you did good. Those cats have a home now, and all thanks to you. And and your parents have company now that you're gone. So. True. Win win. That's not a bad thing. Win win. Yeah, true. If you say so. Okay, so I'm going to take over. <laughs> All right. So if whoever follow, okay, so tonight is trivia night. Hello, my get my 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 teams. I love them. Do we have team names? Yes, I believe we do. Okay, we are team are brick. Team names. We are team brick. Team brick and yeah, team. Yes, we are. 
Uh, as we're team were. as you wish. As, as you, wish. you as you were. You know that's how I. You know that's how I got my nickname. <laughs> okay, so listen, whoever follows this stream and actually listens to us upon occasion, y'all will know that a couple weeks ago I said that I was not going to do a. We did a Halloween trivia, and I said I'm not going to do a Christmas trivia because I didn't want anybody to study. This little buttercup is a dirty rotten liar. <laughs> Christmas trivia. It is Christmas trivia. Oh boy. <laughs> I don't There's even have a tree. I'm Jewish. <laughs> well, then you're just, I mean, you may be a, so well, I don't know. I'm a Jew. I don't know. I don't Can know. I pretend to be Jewish to explain away why Religion I do not know not any of the answers? I will adopt you, my Jewish son. Good. I I'm am... in it. <laughs> We're not going to get into a controversy, y'all. <laughs> we ain't doing it. <laughs> So, so hi. For, uh, for who, those who have not followed trivia, the way that they buzz, they say their names. And so we have Bronner. He's going to say Bronner, Nick. We have Ames and we have Davis. That is their buzzer. I will call who answers first. The next team will have a chance to answer if the first team does not get the answer. And okay, and also the rounds. There are three rounds. I have lots of bonuses, guys. Listen, Christmas calories may not count, but bonus points do. Woohoo! So I got so festive with this. This made me so happy. <laughs> so there's lots of bonuses, but round that. one is worth right. one point, and bonus. All bonuses are one point. All bonuses are one point. Round one is one point, round two is two points, and round three is three points. And all bonuses are one point. And I'll probably scream out Christmas calories <laughs> instead of bonus. <laughs> so are, is, is everybody on the same page? We're all ready? We can get started. Ready as we're going to so. be for Christmas trivia. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever watched any Christmas movies or read a book? Kind or... of, kind oh, some yeah. of this is hard and some of this is not. I'm, right. I'm real versed so, on my Old and New Testament. I'm ready to go. <laughs> you have all of your... You I, have all I of can your, speak yeah. Hebrew. You need. <laughs> it is an open book test if you need. It is not an open phone test, an open book test. Oh. Uh. I left religion out. I did. Um, I, I tried. I, you know me. I leave it family friendly. But anyway, all right. So who wants to start with round one? Not family friendly. <laughs> I, I I can be. Okay. Last week I saw you in the bra. <laughs> wanted... That was on D one hundred one. I don't want to hear it. Uh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I all right. Have to be censored. Let's kick this puppy off. All right, so round one is called "Twas the Night Before Quizmas." Quizmas. Ah. Quizmas. <laughs> She's very punny. Y'all get used to you it. You slay oh, me. Very, very punny. Very wait, 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 wait. Knock, knock. Somebody, somebody. No, somebody. no, ho -ho. no. Don't, don't no, entertain ho -ho. this. Just <laughs> silence Just is the only answer here. <laughs> So do it. Ho ho who? Ho ho who? Uh, don't, come on. You really need to work on your Santa impression. Oh, okay. <laughs> See, look what you did. Right? That a big old can of worms. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, I got terrible dad jokes. Y'all get used to it. Anyway, all right. Okay, so trivia round one. Twas the night before Christmas. Question number one. In the Polar Express. What has to happen in order to hear the bell ring? James, you have to believe in Santa. Got it. You got it. You Advantage of having home. children. I <laughs> I never I ever going to do a fine. horror show. Y'all are going to be fine. I, I will say I'm impressed because I was coming up with the joke answer and Ames got like the real answer before I even came up with what my joke answer was going to be. So right. like nicely done. <laughs> okay, and she was so, so nonchalant about it. That's my one for the too. night, by the She's way. Like, <laughs> I got this. We're racking them up. Damn. We're racking them up. It doesn't matter. And here's the beauty of it. The reason the point scale is so weird is because you can make it up. If you like utterly fell round one, you can make it up in round three. Like it doesn't matter. Like broader, y'all win all the time. Shut your mouth. Anyway, <laughs> number two. 
What was the name of the Mogwai Bill Peltzer gets for Christmas? Ames. Ames. Gizmo? Yes. Oh. She gonna kill it, y'all. Right? I didn't even know what a Mogwai no, was. No, no. I it's thought from that you were, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm used to them being yes. called. I, Thank my you. brain, my She's brain. She's my new best friend. My I, no, brain went I, to Last of the Mohicans. So I know, I know, I know Gremlins and I know Gizmo, but I'm used to them being called Mogwai. And so I was like, Mogwai? What's a Mogwai? I'm and Southern. Me Leave me be. I didn't misspell it. <laughs> Mispronounce it. Mr. Nick, what's a Patio? Oh. The patio? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, number oh. three. This is going to get good, y'all. Oh, Where wow. was National Lampoon's Christmas filmed? Bronner. Bronner? Uh, Wally World. No, it was like actual filming. <laughs> it was filmed it all across the United States, but it no, ended no, in Wally I, World. No. No, no, actually, it was not. Oh, the filmed. Christmas one. Are, are we talking about Christmas the cri- vacation? Christmas. Where was National yeah. Lampoon's Christmas filmed? National Lampoon's vacation was indeed Ooh. all over. Vacation was all over. Mm-hmm. Christmas. Holiday Road. Yeah, that's part of it. Um, Nick. Detroit. Browner said, Browner, nope. And Nick, go ahead. Uh, Ohio, why not? Not even close. Damn. Ames or Davis, <laughs> would you guys like to take a guess? Pick a state, <laughs> any I, state. I didn't know this one either. I, I bet you it's like Canada or something. Mm-mm, mm-mm. It's probably like California or something. No, in California. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Who's taking charge of the chat? Have they answered? Sean is taking charge of the chat. Oh, oh, no. Sean. <laughs> Sean, I hope you knew that. <laughs> me me and the chat are at war with each other, okay? Okay, so it was filmed in Breckenridge, Colorado. Okay. That actually right? doesn't surprise okay. me as much. Yeah. That, yeah. that kind of makes sense. Okay. Wally World, good one. answer. <laughs> yeah, good job. Here's a fun one. Okay, so listen, here's where the Christmas calories don't start counting because we got some bonuses coming up. Uh-oh. All right, so number four, what was Buddy the Elf making when he failed to meet his quota? I love those faces. Oh my God. <laughs> Buddy the Elf. Everybody's like elf. watching the movie in their head. Who's Buddy I love the it. Elf? What's he making? It's, it's, it's Buddy Will Ferrell. Elf? Will Ferrell from Elf, the movie. Elf. Oh, Bronner. Okay, Bronner. He was making a train. No. Ames and Davis? Uh, I don't think we've even seen that movie. Uh, I might know oh, it. Oh, you're missing uh, a classic. A rocking horse. So are you passing your your <laughs> your guess off to Nick? Dave, no, Davis even... gave a guess. He said a rocking horse. Yeah, Davis said rocking Absolutely horse. Is that accurate? No. Mm-mm. Um, Nick. I don't know. He had like daddy issues, so maybe like a letter <laughs> to his dad. I don't know. I don't no. remember. I, like that's the only a, thing that I can even think point. of was tinsel. So I saw, no. I saw Elf like ten plus years ago. <laughs> oh, I love that movie. Sorry, y'all. I love it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> he, My daughter just went to the movie theater to watch it last night in Vegas. That's fantastic. Right? Sorry, y'all ready for the answer? Yeah, go for it. Okay, he was making an etch a sketch. <laughs> But listen, okay, so the bonus actually follows that. And since nobody knew it, should we just skip the bonus? Or should we give it to the chat? Oh, like no. what picture was he drawing on the edge of no, the No, no, no. No, it's it's better than that, actually. Okay. If anybody has seen Elf, it's actually quite entertaining. All right. So should we skip the bonus? Or... Go Throw it out there. Who cares? All right. Do it. Put it out into the universe. Well, clearly the count the calories don't count. So all right, so the bonus was. Okay, so he he messed up on the etch a sketch and didn't hit quota. What was the next elf job he was assigned to? <laughs> because he missed quota. <laughs> this is like one of my favorite parts of the movie. That's why I'm laughing. Was he relegated to the lunch lady? <laughs> it's worse. <laughs> The Jack Nick? in the Box. They oh. made him go scare himself like eight thousand. 
<laughs> They're like, funny. you didn't hit quota. You're going to go get this crap job. <laughs> and his face, every time that the jack and box popped up, that's awesome. <laughs> I'm going to make y'all okay. all like, watch So he was, he was testing them, right? To make sure that they were. Yeah, he was testing jack and box. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and and, then, and his face was like, yeah. oh, every single time. <laughs> Will Ferrell deserves it that. It slayed me. <laughs> It slayed me. <laughs> oh my God. I gotta do this first because I'm just that person. Knock knock. Who's there? No. Don't 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 enter. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Come on. Honda. Civic. Yeah. No. Honda. Ha Come on. Honda. 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 <laughs> Honda first day of Christmas metro <laughs> See. I knew this well, was gonna uh, happen. I'm hanging up now. <laughs> <laughs> you all just like handed it to her. Come on. No, wait. Well, this is why. This is why this happened. Number five. Number five. What day of Christmas did my true love give to me maids of milking? Nick. Runner. Nick. Eight. Very good. There is a bonus to that. There are Christmas oh, calories. I'm a little afraid. <laughs> <laughs> with maids of milking. <laughs> uh, no. What day of Christmas did my true love give to me French horns? Ames. Runner. Ames was first, sorry. What? Not sorry. It was French hens, and it's the third day of Christmas. That's right, you're right. You're right, you're right. You're right. <laughs> I'm reading fast. <laughs> As somebody who played the French horn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. Oh, you took Three offense. French I'm so hens. sorry. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't take it. offense at all. I didn't mean it. He probably would have liked the horns better because it melted them down. You know? <laughs> Not so many birds. Okay. I'm going to calm down with the dad jokes, I swear. I think I'm on a delay. Uh -oh. Do what? Of course you are. You are every time you don't say you're <laughs> Now, in fairness, he does lag from time to time. It is true. Uh we have seen it. It is observable. We're not going to get in the same controversy every single trivia. <laughs> but are we? <laughs> every single trivia. I don't understand the fact that every time I go to drink a cup of coffee, you say something funny and I try to spray it out. It's not fair. This is why you love me. Life service. is not fair. Okay, Number yeah. six. Yeah. May also have Christmas calories. So just okay. think ahead, okay? All right, so when did NORAD start tracking Santa? NORAD? Mm-hmm. Okay. North American Aerospace Defense. Oh. Started tracking Santa. It's on an app. It's It's got all kinds of stuff. Um. I didn't start until like 20. Nick. Okay, Nick. 1996? Mm -mm, not even close y'all oh, we're shit. all we're never gonna guess it. i didn't even know it all right bronner 2010 not even close yeah Pick a date. Ames, 1976 no but you're closer yeah. i still got the price is right you're still over yeah. so all right. still, still over. Right. You're helping me out here. So yeah, yeah, yeah we're still one, I think who has a has a guess left. So uh, yeah, I'll Davis. go with uh, oh, let's go with Davis. 1967. Ah, oh, you're closer. It's That's still... exactly what I was going to say too. <laughs> no, they actually started in the 1950s. 1955 specifically. Yeah, all right. How that was the age that? of paranoia. It's not that crazy because that's when they were doing all the crazy shit. Like, well, there was another bonus to that everything. one, uh -oh. but it's also one that, you know, since nobody knew the original. But this one, somebody might know. When did Google start tracking Santa? Nick. Nick. Is that a question or an answer? Two thousand one. <laughs> I'm going with two thousand one. <laughs> Close. Well, we can play prices right this time. God. <laughs> Who's ever closest without going over? I'm trying to think of when Google started. Um you guys go ahead and answer. I'll be the last one. <laughs> right. oh, you can't get right? it. You're gonna be like 2001, January 3rd. <laughs> 
No, hold on. <laughs> if I got the right year, I should probably just get. You the did point. not get the right year. Okay, thank I'm you. All I'm looking for is a year. <laughs> you did not get the right year, but you are not I over. That. I will give the hint to the rest that you are not over. It's a very small hand. You have no idea. <laughs> Ames, um, two thousand three. That is what I would have guessed. Bronner, Bronner, you know this. You got this. Right, you want two or four? <laughs> <laughs> it, What's a kind of two or four? 50-50 chance, right? You got to pick one. I'm, I'm going 2004. Davis, what was your answer? I'll go 2002. Okay, Bronner got it. But I really don't think any of y'all appreciate that point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the host, and I'm just like, nah. <laughs> Bro no, Bronner earned that point, okay? He did not. Yes, he absolutely <laughs> did. Your price is right at that point. You, you made it, but you said you the told me price is right. Do it. Okay, I think that, 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 that point is as fairly right earned as any point that has been earned tonight. Okay, well, you say. know what? You know what? That that got y'all even, so fine. Okay. Fine. All right, but it, we're always 30 <laughs> good, minutes good job, in. We got started, y'all. <laughs> All right. Number seven. What was Frosty's nose made of? Bronner. Bronner. Uh, it was a carrot. Nope. What? I said the same thing and lost that round. I sure did. Button nose. Button nose. Nick. You can't do that, Nick. Bronner. Sorry. I was going to say it, and I think I actually did buzz in before him, but maybe there's a delay. I don't know. Corn cob pipe and button, uh, nose. button nose. That's what yeah. I mean. Okay, just so you know that there's been many depictions of of said Frosty with a... No, there's many depictions no. of snowmen. No. I looked it up. There are many Actually, depictions in the animated snowman. Frosty the Snowman, he did have a carrot for a nose. Thank you. In the animation in like oh. the 1970s in the or 80s or whatever. A cop pipe and a button nose, which I was that going is to true. buzz in and say. I was going to say button. So okay, that team I'll... gets a point. All, and everybody's all, fair with that. All I'm saying I'm fine is with that. that. Okay. All I'm saying is that maybe be a little more descriptive in your question. Some of them I can't because it gives stuff away. Brother, we can be DQ'd. She is the right? judge. Right? <laughs> you get canceled. She could just can't say fire no. Me, but I can cancel you. <laughs> now hold on. Oops, you've been muted. <laughs> She throws in Don't audio over what he Why says. <laughs> right. Okay. Number number eight. This one has a little bit more uh d description in it. Okay. In a Charlie Brown Christmas, Ugh. what does Sally ask for from Santa specifically? Nick. Nick. For Charlie Brown to die a terrible Absolutely not. and horrific death. <laughs> Yeah, I don't you know. You gotta it. get the Christmas spirit. <laughs> Jeez. I was simply gonna say a new brother, but buy a reindeer or something. No, she wants it gone hard. Mm -mm. <laughs> uh, Actually, not even close. <laughs> get in the comments. She's wrong. I'm right. Ames. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, I want to say it's a kiss from Linus, but I thought she had like a huge list that she followed no. Charlie Brown around with. That was the, she did. But when she actually wrote her letter, this is when she actually wrote her letter. Cause during the entire movie, it was like hints of this and hints of that. Yeah, and she like followed him that. around with a list and he kept rolling his eyes, but right. But when she finally wrote the list, good grief. It was, <laughs> I love you. If you want to talk about my dad jokes, leave me be. <laughs> uh, right. I have no clue. Okay, are we ready? Yep. She says, I would just like some money, especially 10s and 20s. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> yes, it's true. Google How that you it. say it, yeah. <laughs> Wow, you know that's what? awesome. You can Jeez. send it in 10s or 20s, something of that effect, but yeah. 
I would like some money. <laughs> she she is economically savvy because she is. What, what a lot of people don't understand is that during the, the holiday season, so you're all going out and you're getting presents for all of your loved ones. And, and what you're doing is you're actually deleting value because in the economy, the way things work is like different commodities have an assigned value to them. And when you don't know what a person wants, you're actually destroying the economy and wreaking havoc. All right. Never mind. You know what? You know what? Nick, Nick, I have a question for you. I have a question just, specifically just keep for you. Just ruining the economy. Nick, I have a question for you. What's up? What do you call a snowman with a temper tantrum? Uh, Water? I don't know. A puddle? A meltdown. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was on the right track. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, not okay. sorry. Sorry. All right, no, back good. on track. You're good. Back on track. I'm just trying to ruin Christmas. Okay, so also following up with Charlie Brown, how much does Lucy charge for psychiatric help? Ames. Runner. Ames. Five cents. Yes. Got it. Mm. All right. This one's a fun one. This one is a definitely a fun one. Who? Okay. Number 10. Who was the lady extravagantly decorating her house with Christmas lights in the Grinch? The one with the t -t 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 gun. What's her name? Nick. Nick. She was a who. That, that's not close enough. Mrs. <laughs> who? <laughs> she said Mrs. Who. Or yeah, her name who. is uh, Shirley. Oh, she's not even Mrs. Shirley oh. who, who? Sally who? Sally. <laughs> this actually came up in therapy the other day as well. I was like, oh, I'm putting that in trivia. <laughs> Wow. Now hold on. Overshare. <laughs> it was a good thing. It was a good thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Broder's dying. I he can't even. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? And why? <laughs> you let me be host. That's what's wrong with you. No, no, not that all, not all that. Never mind. No, it's good. Does Davis even speak? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, I could guess a who, like uh, who is? Sally Lou who. who. You, you want him to chime in on something I'm came up during this therapy, and here. it was the name of a who woman who sings <laughs> lights around her house? Who woman? Oh. What? How dare he not be vocal during that? <laughs> is, isn't it obvious it's hoo-ha? <laughs> <laughs> Now, hold on. Okay. I know My this dad is a better. And I should be buying for this point right now. But but the whole <laughs> premise here is that there's a who woman who strings a house covered in lights, and this came up during therapy? <laughs> Amanda who? It's Amanda who. It's not Amanda. It's not Amanda. <laughs> like, I know who the actress is, but I didn't actually see that version of The Grinch. I don't know the actress name, so I can't give you a point. <laughs> Marissa? It's, Marissa? It's Christine who? Baranski, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe. I don't. That I can't give you. Is her name Marissa? I, my question was for the character name. <laughs> are y'all ready? Y'all are going to hate Karen who? so much right now. Karen oh, you're going to hate yourself because I did. Because I didn't know it. Martha May Huvier. I don't have it closest. That you is... know, I don't have the will to live anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that scene in Happy Gilmore. Thank you. We are all now stupider for that answer. <laughs> right. <laughs> all right, Bronner. I have so many questions. I got a joke for you. All right. I got a joke. How much did Santa pay for his sleigh? For his leg? Yeah, for his sleigh. How oh, I thought you said nothing. I thought he it was a leg jury. Nick, you're right, but guess what? It was on the house. Uh... Oh my god. Oh. Okay, so let's go on to round two. <laughs> yes, please. That was round all round one. Called... Oh Listen, shit. <laughs> round two is worth two points. There are bonuses. And round two is called Ho Ho Ha Ha Ha. <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> okay, number one. Are we ready? Yes. <laughs> Might as well be. <laughs> yes. 
Who created the first electric, a Christmas electric light display? Davis. Davis. I'll go with Thomas Edison. Yeah, you got it. Two points for you. <laughs> I was hoping someone was going to go primitive. God, I love you for that. <laughs> okay, number two. This is also probably a very primitive question. What two figures is the appearance of our modern day normal this Santa figure mainly a mix of? Bronner. Bronner. Um, I don't I don't remember her name, but it was the big girl from A League of Their Own. She had a talk show. <laughs> what was her name? <laughs> Ames. Uh, what? Ames uh, I think it was one of them was St. Nicholas and the other one was the German Sinterklaas. Do you know can 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 you give Nick? a little more? I mean I'll give it to you. I'll give you Nick? I'll give it to you. Uh because I know that there's St. Nicholas and then like like in You got it. You're so cl- you got it except for the name. I'm giving you the points. You win. Nick. Runner. Uh, All right. Nick. Go ahead, Nick. I haven't gone yet. Okay. So but I know one of them. The points. Well, okay. I guess. But hey, <laughs> one of them is St. Nicholas. I think the other one was like Father Winter or whatever in whatever Father language Christmas. it is. But, but beyond that, all, none of this matters because our entire modern conception of oh, Santa God, Claus Nick. was designed by the Coca-Cola company. And that is 100% true. That is true, yeah. That is true. How do Christmas trees get into their email? They log in. Nick, I'm, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not shitting you. Coca-Cola came up with the design of modern Santa. And that they is They did we not have. come up with it, but he is very interpreted. They and interpreted it from really the good. um they interpreted <laughs> they it from the poem the night before no, Christmas actually, where they talk like about how he's like around modern, there was a, a newspaper sketch that actually came up with the modern Saints of Things. Actually, Coca-Cola helped with the color red. Just saying. I did my homework because I knew I had you on a team. Get in the comments. You know, you know, you're at home right now and you know I'm right. Get in the comments. Coca-Cola was not one of those answers. Anyway, number three. Name the ghosts from the Christmas Carol. Ames. Bronner. Uh, The ghost of Christmas past, present, and future. There's actually one more. Nick. Ames. Nick if was I had first. come in there before, but go ahead, Nick. I mean, yeah. Uh, Buttercup, how do you want to do that? Because Bronner came, and then Ames, and then okay, he said I'll give three. the other team the other. I'll give it the other team a shot. Let's because that's normally okay. what we do. We give the other I, team. I know the one that's missing. It's Jacob Marley. Yeah, it's Jacob Marley. Yeah. So how about I give? Okay, so this is a two pointer. How about I give each team a point? Is Brilliant. that fair? Yeah, sure. I'm I'm in accordance with that. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I am totally playing this game under protest at the moment. <laughs> well, they're kicking your tail around, too. I know they are. They are, except yeah, for yeah. the fact that Coca-Cola did design Modern Santa. But they didn't design good. him! Uh, no, that did, did not they totally Yeah, Coca-Cola did. designed polar bears, too. No, Ooh. they didn't design polar bears, but they yeah. did design Modern Santa. And the whole... The whole the Santa that is on everything that we see today was absolutely a design that was pushed forward by the Coca-Cola company. Pushed forward, not designed by. Oh, my God. You they just pimped, said that. You they just said pimped, that. Pimp Santa out is what they did. Coke pimp Santa out. Wasn't it like Look. Civil War photographer or something? Um, no. Mm-hmm. Satirist. Civil War. What? I'm... You you all at home. You have Google. You can seek the That's truth. Right. <laughs> Overthrow her reign of tyranny. If you would quit trying to cheat during <laughs> trivia, maybe Google wouldn't quit lying to you. I thought it was the the guy I'm, who did the um like the I'm all those queen. old fashioned 
you know, Americana pictures, like with the, the Thanksgiving dinner. Rockwell. Rockwell, yeah. I thought that. Yeah, the Saturday that, evening posts and stuff. Yeah. yeah. But I know that most of it was an interpretation paper. of um, the poem, A Night, Bef- Night Before Christmas, where they talk about, you know, a small man who's round with the, uh, you know, round belly with bowl full of jelly or whatever all that stuff the uh, like i think it was all an interpretation from that poem it was a newspaper it was a newspaper clipping i didn't see where origin or why the clipping originated you could be accurate on that i just don't know um but it was a newspaper clipping of just a random artist that just like drew a santa and that's wasn't that like three questions ago yeah, but but yeah, Nick's Nick, been... don't argue. Nick is still like sad about his point. No, I like... just give him a point. Make him happy. No, I... Is not. I don't. I don't want it that way. I want to come up from behind. I'd like to give the world a coke. Oh. <laughs> but I... Okay, y'all. What? What? Th- this is not trivia. But what month does cr- do Christmas trees hate the most? Don't fire me. Please don't fire me. <laughs> September. <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> don't fire me. Don't fire me. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's change, let's change the tone here. All right. Get, get the comments. Number, number four. What is the official day that Krampus knocked? is celebrated nick nick december 24th no oh i thought you were gonna have this i was excited Ames. for that i thought i did too yeah no Ames. Ames. Just knocked Ames. Davis, um, i don't know if you're yelling out your name i can't hear you i'm not yelling <laughs> you should probably yell it's nah, two days christmas knocked would probably be um december 26th it's one of two days. Krampus knocked. Oh, Krampus I know. Knocked. Krampus knocked. Nick again? Okay. I'll bounce it... back between the teams. December 23rd? Not even close. Roner. Davis. Davis. Let's go with the other team. Davis. We'll, we'll go 31st. December 31st. Oh, God. You are killing me. I mean, we're going to run out of days here before too long. I mean, it probably only took us about 40 guesses. Okay. <laughs> All right, Broder, his uh, hand, he has his hand up like a nice child in the class. December 1st. No, but you're closer. Oh, because. Seven. 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 What? Eight. Nine. 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 No. Ten. No. No. I was no. going to say January 6th because that's when the um, Orthodox I'm Christmas was. I was going to say Gosh. January 1st. We're all done here. Okay. Yeah, we're it's done. December 5th. And if you were not eaten or taken by Krampus by December 5th is when Santa would come and visit. December 5th. I mean, speaking of OnlyFans. What? Yeah. I think what we're learning here is that we all, like, our brains don't work, so clearly our bodies must, and now it's time for OnlyFans. <laughs> 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 All right, y'all might get this one. Y'all might get this one. Number five, what is the name of the girl that befriended Frosty in the original animated 1969 Frosty Frosty the Snowman holiday special? What I love this. Hold on. Time out. Time out. <laughs> David Wait, what? could care so, so little about this question that he moved his mic and took a drink while you were... <laughs> Like he was like, I got no fucking shot. I didn't even know he had a button nose. I'm out. (laughs) I mean, it's a '60s, right? It's got to be like a a common name, like Sally or Mary, or Jennifer's the later. My first thought was Sally. My first thought was Sally. I was like, this is some white girl name. It was a little okay. blonde girl. I want to say it's like her name basic. was. It's a little blonde girl. It's a very basic name. Y'all are gonna laugh so hard. Yeah. We it was either here. like Valerie or Sarah or something like that. Susie. Those are easy names. Is it Beth. Susie? Y'all just keep calling Susie. Me. Susie. Susie. Really... Is it, no. It's gotta be Susie. Is it Sarah? Mm-hmm. Lucy. No. 
God, y'all are gonna hate yourself. Jamie? Jamie? Is it Jamie? Jamie? Is it little Janie? Jane. <laughs> Jane. <laughs> are y'all ready? She's Virginia. definitely white. We can tell that. Y'all are gonna die. Y'all are gonna die. Karen. It's a Karen! <laughs> Has anyone scored a point in like 45 minutes? I just want yeah. to know. kick your butt. They are one, two, three questions, three and a half questions right in round two. <laughs> it isn't Karen. Do I give them the point? No, no we were just throwing right. out names. No. <laughs> what? It's uh, definitely Karen. If you give them one point, give us six. <laughs> no. All right, so let's go on. Here's a really nerdy one, though. Oh, good. What did the Weasleys? Oh, finally. What? Did, what? Bronner. He's Bronner. 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 I don't even need to know the question. Okay, Bronner. <laughs> Sweaters. Not even. That's my clear. answer. Ah, shit. What did the Weasleys? Put on their Christmas tree as a tree topper. It's more it's more antagonistic in the books than it is in the movies, but it is portrayed in the movie. Hold on, can I dial my daughter? She would know. <laughs> right. Can I phone a friend? Yeah, you said it's open book. Wife. I think you have them she over there. These things. That's uh, hilarious. Um, I wonder if we should do that. Ames. Was it did a brownie? Honor or Ames? What did I hear? It was Ames. Ames. Okay, was it a, was it a brownie? These questions suck. They all suck. You all well, lose. It's fine. I'm just kidding. I do. Like I vaguely hey. remember what it is. Nick. Was it a gnome? It was a garden gnome. Yes! Yeah, it was either that the or oh, yeah. messing with the Weasleys. Fuck and yes. so they got pissed off at him at Christmas and yeah, stuck him up. I thought of the, the wrong oh, wrong movie. Shit. Yeah. You know what? I should have known that because I have the Harry Potter the Lego thing and there, there's yep. a gnome. All right, we are running out of time. Let's go. Let's, we're going to start flying through the <laughs> Slytherin. The cat. No, no. Okay, <laughs> number seven. In the movie, The Santa Claus, the tooth fairy, Mother Nature, Father Tom, Cupid, Easter Bunny, Jack Frost, and Santa are referred to as what group? Nick. Nick. The Guardians? Nope. Fuck. Wrong movie. Oh, Ronner, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ames wants to know it. She wants to know it. So I, uh, my she daughter makes it. me watch those movies every year. I love those movies, and I watch them every year, and I didn't even know. I was like, I know this answer, and I didn't even know it. Ames. Go ahead. Is it the... It's the it's Council of Legendary Figures? Yeah, you got it! That excited me a lot. Wow. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, number eight. It, our kid makes me watch that movie every year. So oh, yeah. All right. Number eight. Where would you find yourself kicking off the holiday season by burning the devil while sweeping the house on December seventh? This one's tough. Can you say that again? <laughs> yes. Where would you find your, yourself starting the season, kicking off the season, the holiday season, by burning the devil and sweeping your house on December 7th? Ames. Ames. Is it Ireland? No. Bronner. Bronner. Argentina. No. Nick. Nick. Holland. Nope. Davis, take a guess. Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, wait, Nick, <laughs> Mississippi, or Alabama, or, or Florida. <laughs> Georgia? That answer was such a peach. I would have said, like, Texas or something, but you know. That, that would have involved guns in good. Texas. Can I, can yeah. I say that I, I do you find think yourself it's... South America. Your gun. It's putting Guatemala. it up the chimney to keep the I knew it was South America. Oh, yeah. Guatemala. Uh, okay. So here's a here's a Polar Express question. Okay. What time did Hero Boy Chris? It just depends on what you read or watched. Board the Polar Express. Nick. 
Nick. Tom Hanks. No, I said what time? <laughs> I, I know what you said. I'm protesting now. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you fight me? You love my trivia and you fight me. No, Bronner. I love you. I do, but it's Tom Hanks. <laughs> All right, Bronner. Wait, they, they get a chance first, actually. I'm sorry. Ames, I, I really don't know. I want to say it's like at 11-11. You are very close. I'm saying 11-59. Nope. It's Price is Right. They win. It was 11-55. Because this was higher. Whoever starts this without going over. One dollar. <laughs> Nick, Nick died. I think Nick Look died. Look at Look at Bron. You didn't like break my brain. I'm the hostess. I His get to do what I want. Broken now. <laughs> Shake it off. Shake it off, baby. Shake it off. <laughs> Number 10. <laughs> Number 10. Who was in charge of putting up the trees in the Great Hall at Hogwarts at Christmas? Nick. Ames. Nick was first. Those poor house elves, because they're basically indentured servants and they have no will of their own look okay they're gonna give you some sort of answer to get through 10 more questions nick oh well never mind yeah, yeah 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 you hear me <laughs> you know the truth i love you save us truth seekers you know <laughs> and we're davis. giving the other team a chance bronner davis davis all right hagrid yes all right listen that was my calories answer don't too. count but bonuses do can you tell me how many trees a ha Hagrid put up? Ames. Ames? 12. Yes. Oh, there you have. <laughs> Nick and Bronner, you have got a run for your money. That's all right. I'm just saying. That's I do totally have a really cool. random question. What do you call what do you what do you call a pig house in the winter? A pig loo. Isn't that the I'm pig's toilet? Sorry. What? Isn't that the pig's toilet? <laughs> no. A pig loo? <laughs> I'm going to use that in the summer. Pig. Definitely going to use that in the summer. All right. Anyway. All right. Category three is called Don't Get Your Tinsel in a Tangle. <laughs> Too late. Of course it is. Because <laughs> these are really tough. These are hard. Okay. So, number one. How I mean, harder. Yeah, yeah, they get more difficult and more random. Yeah. Okay. Y'all know me. You've been in trivia enough. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta quit giving me so much leniency. I, I knew Halloween. <laughs> this is something else. <laughs> this is Buttercup at her finest. Yes, it is. Okay, number one. How are the story author and the songwriter for Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer related? Ames. Bronner. Ames. They're married. No. Oh. Close. Bronner. 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 Brother and sister. No. They're actually, Nick. brother in laws. Oh. It was two dudes. Well, I, I don't judge. <laughs> How do you know that they we, don't, we don't know that's a, not a polycule? Yeah, I we mean, don't know. I'm that just, no, they're it brother in laws. And that's right. okay. That's completely fine. It's fine. No, no, there's no judgment. I was just telling you how they're related. Just because her name is Sally. <laughs> and the Karen. other one's Karen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number two. Who in the 19... Oh, this one's fun. Who in the 1966 original, original release of The Grinch, the animated one, was the voice of the green. Bronner. Oh, God, that was close. Bronner. Uh, I, I don't want to be biased, but I did hear Bronner. I think a I heard bit, Bronner first. I do. It's fine. It was close. I, it was very close. All right, Bronner. Boris Karloff. All right, you got yeah, it. Yeah, but yeah. do you know who did the singing? Because it wasn't Boris Karloff. No, the singing was not. Why are you throwing in bonus questions in my trivia? 
It was. It was. Hey, start you know what? Consulting you to make you know, trivia. It's content. <laughs> I like it's it. content. It was Paul it, Winchell who also did the voice of Winnie the Pooh. Well, listen. Okay, listen, Lena. Oh, bother. Listen, listen, listen. There was a. There was Christmas calories to this one. Oh, what yes. famous monster did he did Boris Karloff also Famous. play in 1931? Bronner. Bronner. Well, no, Ames, Ames. Ames said it first. No, Ames said Ames. it before you finished yeah. the question. Ames got I didn't Ames hear it. it. I was reading. Go so ahead, it. Ames. It's Frankenstein. You got it. Yep. Look, you know a lot about that guy. I watched a documentary on it. I like it. No, that's great. That's fantastic. Right. You knew all that. Because we're not nerds at all. No, not at all. That's what I'm saying. That's why my questions are weird. Okay. All right. Though. Here's a fun one. This one. Classic horror. Can I be the token chalk? Fantastic. What? <laughs> like, can I yes, be the token chalk? That's it. Chalk? Start posing. <laughs> you want to be the three. token chalk? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to be exclusive, right? He's my oh, him gremlins. Though. We're back to gremlins. We're back to gremlins. <laughs> What's the name of the kid that dressed up as Christmas trees and sells them? <laughs> Nobody's gonna know this. Think Karen, but it's a it's a boy. It's Dick. Ames. Nick was first. Michael. Nope. Ames. Chad. No. <laughs> but it's that Chad. simple. But it is. It's that. It is. It's a Karen. Davis. Sam, I guess. No. Bronner, it's all up to you. Yeah, Bronner. Well, can you repeat the question that I was reading? Save us. Oh, he was Googling. That's he had to Google real quick. No, Bronner. someone had messaged Bronner me with that your they nose were leaving so the show. So. In the movie Gremlins, what's the name of the boy who dresses up as Christmas trees and sells them? Fuck if I know. Um, next question. That's not his name, No. <laughs> I don't know that answer. Okay, it was Peter. It was Pete. It was Pete. <laughs> I just remember. <laughs> what the hell is That's going the on? That here? chases him around that entire flipping movie. It was Pete. I'm giving you I, two points for that. I need to pour Drano in my ears. Wait, what? <laughs> was this the round over? Did we all guess? <laughs> no, wait, she said Peter. She won. Did you say Peter? I did say Peter. No, I said that he's. <laughs> I'm asking Nick. Did you there's, say Peter? There's a lot of arbitrary uh, decision making. Nick said Coca Cola. Get in the comments. Yeah, it was Coca Cola. <laughs> Coca Cola made Santa it's Claus. You know. Coca Cola <laughs> makes you know. your horns okay, are drooping. We're they are drooping. Look, They're probably we're gonna die. Off pretty soon. All right, Nick. Shh, shh, love you. Okay, number four. We got like three minutes to finish like six questions. <laughs> Rapid what was fire. the elf's name in the 1964 Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? Nick. Hermy. That wanted to be a dentist. You got it. <laughs> I remember. That's worth 10 points, Nick. No, Number that's two. just worth three. He was also queer-coded and very much Number just... He God. was. Number... Yeah. Number... yeah, well, my question was supposed to be more fun than that. But anyway, number five. You squashed that dream. <laughs> Okay, what was the poem "Twas the Night Before Christmas" originally titled? Twas the Night Before Christmas. Nick. Nick. I can't sleep tonight because all I'm thinking about is presents. Mm -hmm. No, ah, screw it. I tried. Come on, That's team. As you wish. You want to take a guess? Ames. Go ahead. Um, did they also name it like a Christmas Carol? No. All right, and they're all lifting shoulders. It is a visit from Saint Nick. There was actually two Christmas calories to this one. Um, if y'all want to do it, or we can sure. skip it because we're running out of time. Whatever. We can do okay, it. Well, okay. So the one bonus was when was it originally published? Ames. Okay. 1846? No. Team Brick, take a guess. If we're low on time, I'm not even going to try. 1923. <laughs> okay. So we're going to skip the second of the other bonus because that one's really tough. Okay. Number six. In what religion 
did the Krampus tradition start? Where did it originate? Bronner. Dick? Okay, Bronner. You, Brick. You got it, Bronner. Brick. I mean, if, if, do you know? I'll let you go. No, you I want know. you to. I, I want you to guess because I've been really off. <laughs> I'm gonna guess Slovakian. No. Wait. Think... I wish I had guessed. Uh, <laughs> Davis, I'll go with a German pagan. Ah, Davis got it. Yeah, I was gonna say I was pretty That's sure it was Germanic. That's what I was gonna say. That is what I was gonna say. Slavic is. Basically, okay, not even okay. close to Germany. Let's get back to Gremlins. Sorry, I, to, I guess I had a thing for Gremlins. I was tired. What film were the Gremlins watching in the movie theater? She wants to know it so bad. She wants to know it so bad. <laughs> I think this is a little bit more influential for Ames than it was for me growing up. Right? It's the first I'm, horror I'm going, movie I ever saw. I mean, if it didn't have dragons or guns in it, I probably didn't see the movie. Nick Same. is like, he, Nick is frying his brain. Bronner's like, uh, it, Aves is excited. I, I really can't think of the movie. Um, was Gremlins even a Christmas movie? Ames. It was it, all it through. It was the whole holiday. Yeah, it was absolutely a Christmas movie. Yeah, like, like, like Die Hard is a like Die Hard. Was it yeah. Casablanca? No. Uh, Davis. My I'll guess go. was it's a Wonderful Life, and I lost. Breakfast at Tiffany. <laughs> it was probably like Miracle yeah. on Thirty Fourth Street. Yeah, it's even worse, y'all. It's even worse. <laughs> Ready? Snow White and the Seven Doors. Oh yeah, I totally would have gotten that one. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was awful. Okay. So Lisa, so do it's eight thirty one. Are we street? Are we following into someone, or can we continue and overlap, or do we just say that Team As You Wish has kicked your ass? <laughs> Sean, are we raiding into somebody, or is or, or do we have time? <laughs> yeah right yeah, is, it yeah, I'm not sure. is there any hope at all and no one, no mercy two, just three and give us bonus. one question only a chance for three points one question winner take all <laughs> <laughs> i mean we could do it we we, we could do it we can do that all right can it excuse me i need bragging rights <laughs> I don't have anything yeah. else. You can have I got a great no, question. I got a great one. What did Luke Skywalker say after he planted a Christmas tree farm? Oh, jeez. You, that's the Star Wars Christmas special, and you should be ashamed of yourself. It's not even. It's just a dad joke. Oh, it's even worse. Okay. May the forest be with you. <laughs> Don't fire me, please. <laughs> okay, one quick one. Where were gingerbread houses made? Invented. Where did they start? Gingerland. Um, no. <laughs> say you didn't call your name. From, uh, say the say your Hansel name. And oh, Davis. Uh, Davis. Got to be Germany because it was Hansel and Gretel that inspired them. Yeah. I mean, y'all are already beaten tail, and so, it. yeah. Winner was take it. all, Woo! and totally. <laughs> Nick and Bronner, I'm a little saddened by this, because I think this is the worst defeat that Bronner's ever had in his trivia career. 100%. I mean, these questions yeah. were like, I know nothing about <laughs> Christmas, first of all. I don't <laughs> well, even I have mean, a Christmas tree. Yeah. either. I'm, no, that, that makes I'm it, Jewish. I'm, that I mean, makes I'm it a, really I'm easy to be like <laughs> respectful losers is when you just rub it in our faces. <laughs> right? Because we did not that. win. Absolutely, Ames and Davis did a fantastic job. Team, tonight. as you they wish, totally job. valiantly took the took the cake on this one. We, absolutely. we will absolutely be happy to come back sometime when it's something that people oh. know when it's not Christmas. We'll be happy to come back sometime for a rematch. You I should probably that. go watch the other yeah. trivia so would realize how actually random I am when I do trivia. They give me too much leeway. 
But I, I do the, love it. I do love the fact that you guys beat us. Um, yeah, I, I, it couldn't happen to a, a better, better couple. That uh, was fun, y'all. Oh yeah, these two are incredible. They're fantastic people. Uh, wonderful role players of the Vanguard community, and they did yeah. an incredible job tonight. And Bronner and I <laughs> will have to lick our wounds. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm gonna lick the salt off a margarita glass. And then I'm going to lick my wounds. Yeah, you know, people deal with pain in different ways. You know, whatever it takes. You're gonna whatever put salt takes, in the wound yeah. on your own. Exactly. Okay. It's a, it's a rub it in, process. and then he's gonna lick it, and then he's gonna shoot. And make sure you squeeze the oh. lime on it too. Oh yeah. snap! Yeah. Put the lime in the coconut. Now what do I do? I don't know. Drink it all down. Uh, where are we reading into, Mr. Sean? All right. Well, this has uh, been Con Carolina's television, and this has been Trivia Part 5, and we'd like to thank Ames and Davis and Nick and Sean and Buttercup, of course, for making this such a pleasant evening. Um, and please join us next week. Um, we'll have a great show for you, we promise. And right now we're going to raid into All Hope. Uh, so stay where you're at. We're just going to take you right over there and... Um, enjoy what they're doing i don't know what they're playing tonight probably wrapped they always <laughs> they play rap oh, fun. they're gonna finish it up all right so we'll have fun with that guys and enjoy your gaming and um for con carolina's television peace love good night, Out. Good night. thank See you, you. Good night. thanks Happy guys holidays.